favorite movie? What a day. As a screenwriter, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're in that industry, yes. This would be very interesting to My favorite movie is 12 Angry Men. What? what? <laughs>
important is it for a student to travel? <gasps> oh, yes, that's okay. true. So let me tell you. Best thing I ever did, thank you, Miss Rita, for allowing me to do it, was letting me go to Spain for a year mm -hmm. and saying, you know what, it's okay if you miss a year and come back and be with a lower year. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We act, and I tell students this all the time. You're going to live until you're 99. Mm -hmm. One year is nothing. Mm -hmm. Get out there and experience the world that other people live in. Yeah, that's and not the I don't do. It's a brilliant skill. And we're not in a rush to go anywhere. So right. do your gap year. Go do what you need to do. But I think it gives you an amazing sense of perspective, um, which Andrew started up by giving me, by mixing us up that much. And one thing that Spain taught me was I had never been the outsider. I was always in the A group at Andrews. For the first time ever in my life, I was an underdog. I was the person on the outside looking in. Yeah, you were the different one. I was the different one. And it turned everything about the way I think about how kids are socialized, how we are socialized, and life in general. But it's, it has a strong um, effect on you because I remember going to Spain with you, and and you, this was for what, 20 something years later, and you were still like, it was as though you were just there last year. You were, there. I mean, the language came back, it was everything. It was like this. And the know, following year, I took my kids to Spain, to visit mm -hmm. the people I lived with. Mm -hmm. And then it was just wild. They couldn't mm -hmm. imagine that I'd be there. But honestly, I give credit to this very supportive Andrew's environment. Because of the fifth form, I was pretending to do the sciences. Mm -hmm. And I knew that when I came back, I would not continue the sciences. And Andrew's helped me to make that transition. Mm -hmm. So without yeah. them, God bless Ina Donaldson, who was the one, rest in peace, she was the one who interviewed me um, to go with the AFS, but yeah, it changed everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you have to have that adventure spirit, I think, mm -hmm. I think it helps if somebody's behind you saying, do this, because, and for the reasons that you said. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, that it's okay to experience something different for, and be put back here, because, gosh, there's so many years ago. And now I know more Andrews girls. I have, mm -hmm. I have, I can claim residents with two sets of Andrews girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I find Andrews girls. So, little known fun facts. Um, little known. Um, I cry as easily as I laugh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't cry at all. Maybe that's because you're born on the same day. <laughs> day. Oh. I cry yeah. all the time. Little known fun You cry like that? Yes. Oh, okay. What? It's like a part of it. You just turn things off. It's not really fun. Little known fun fact. Let's see. A language, um, skill, talent. Skill. Uh, well, let's see. Well, yeah, I'm sure I do. Under pressure, under pressure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know what. I enjoy everything about writing, even though I really need to write more. I mean, in terms of keeping in touch, you know, keeping in touch, you know, the social sort of part of, you know, finding the time to write. I mean, that's something that I really enjoy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
that's okay. Yeah. Because that's part of a life of what makes you you. Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst that could come? I mean, yeah. like, when I think of Andrews, I think of people pushing us and saying, Oh, not try it, no man, what's the worst that could come? I'm just sorry I do that now. Mm. Because I think I do that more now than I did in high school. But I guess as you get older, you think, okay, well, I've got to experience some more things, you mm. know. I mean, Dan has a lot to do with pushing you to do experience things. but. Experience them, that's part of what makes your mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and I, I think as well, um, the, the, you know, continue the, the, the ties, continue the sense of community because you're, you're gonna, you know, have this foundation even years later, you know, things that you can come back to and you can have these kinds of discussions and still have gone off in several different directions and come back to, well, remember we still meet, you know, meet on meet tree and, and this is something I tell, I told Anya, my daughter, a couple of times that, you know, some of the friends, some of the people in your class now, you might not be friends with, but they might end up being your best friend 10 years later mm -hmm. because of the community. So even though you haven't spoken or you weren't that close while you were here, like fast forward 20 years and you bump them up and they're just like bonified. Mm -hmm. So um, just treat everybody well. Basically, lots of great yeah, people I like that on Facebook mm -hmm. who, I, who I might not have known as well in school or even I barely knew their name. Yeah. But man, what amazingly talented people with some oh, fantastic love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful conversations, ladies. Thank you so much, Ruth and Joanne and Judy and Diane. It's been a pleasure having you. And do return to the, the, visit the museum at least in the next five years. Oh, see you then. Can we do like an abundant life?